Greg, nine games in, how close to what you thought the Bucks could be are you guys so far? Uh, I think we're getting close. Uh, we've had some injuries. Um, we still have a couple guys that, that are out right now. Um, so, you know, um, once those guys get back and we, we actually get some time together, I think we'll continue to get better. Greg, speaking of uh, getting better, uh, you changed locations. I want to go back a little bit. Uh, the pitch the Milwaukee Bucks gave you over the summer, has it lived up to the expectation actually now being there now for a few months? Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, everything they said uh, is, is very much true. Um, but like I said, the only thing that's, that's missing right now is us just being fully healthy. You know, I think we're getting back to that. And then it's a lot of new pieces. So with, with any team, when it's a lot of new pieces, uh, it takes a little time for everything to come, come together. Greg, congratulations on the early start of the season. You've come in, you've led this team in rebounding, you're second in assists and second in scoring. Uh, has it been more of an adjustment for you to your new teammates or more of an adjustment for your new teammates to you being one of the focal points of the team? Uh, I think it's been a little bit of both. Um, you know, I have to adjust to, to the players around me. You know, uh, it's not the same players that I had in Detroit. And uh, me coming here, obviously, is, is new to them. So I think we've been doing a great job. You know, it's been a lot of communication, just me learning and understanding, you know, where they like to have, have the ball in their spots and uh, what they like to do defensively and also them learning the same thing from me. Greg, you speak of communication. How, how difficult has it been picking up Jason Kidd's system? And what is it that he's asking of you night in and night out? Um, it hasn't been that difficult. Um, um, everything he's asking me to do, I'm fully comfortable doing. Um, that's the biggest part, um, you know. Um, the positions he's asked me to be in, um, you know, it's something that I, I, I'm fully capable of doing. Um, and, you know, what he, he's asked me to just be a leader, uh, to come in and just, just use my skills. Um, you know, he obviously he watched me as a player, and I played against him one year, um, so he knew what I can do, and he just asked me to be myself and come in and, and, and try to help these young, these young studs we have here get better. Now one of those young studs, of course, is Jabari Parker, who's only been able to play in fits and starts so far because of the, uh, the ACL surgery. Uh, he's not playing on back-to-backs. So I'm assuming we'll see him again tonight. What, having glimpsed a little bit of what he can do, what can he be in the NBA? Uh, he can be a, a very, very good player. Um, he's an extremely talented player. Um, you know, um, he hasn't been playing that much in games, but he's been, he's been practicing with us. So I've gotten to see him a whole lot. Um, and I think, you know, he'll be a really good player for a long time. You know, a very versatile skill set for his size. Uh, a bit more athletic than people may know. So, I, um, you know, people got a, a kind of a short glimpse of him before that, that injury. Um, but he looks good right now, still working his way back. But, yeah, you know, he'll be a force in this league for a long time. A lot to like about that roster, uh, including Greg Monroe, the big offseason edition. We appreciate you stopping by. No problem. Thank you guys for having me.